This is not an American fighter. That was my first thought when I sat into the low seat of this British crate they call the Hurricane. All I've heard about this plane is true as far as speed and performance go, but its wings are made of fabric as opposed to good old American metal. It takes some getting used to. I've been paired up with a pilot named Trevor. He likes to train all the new guys in the unit, but he seems like sort of a stiff-ass Brit to me. I just want to prove myself and get out there where I can make a difference. I'm scheduled for maneuvers with Trevor in just a moment. He's going to run me through basic flight and weapons training. Let's see if my aircraft holds up to how I fly. Touchdown. Great approach. Good landing all round. We've got a few more. 
things to cover, and then we'll call it a day. First, let's get back into the air. Bring your throttle up and gain some altitude. You're quickly getting out of the controls, that's good. Notice that the ground crew has replenished your ammunition for you. The counter displays how much ammunition your plane has. Now we can... Wait a moment, my dear fellow. I think I can spy a German bomber ahead. Ich brauche Hilfe! Feindlicher Flugzeuge, mein Flug! Strange smoke must have slipped away from one of our patrols during the fight. Congratulations, your first flight target. Take that aircraft out of our sky. Stay with him. Not bad. Flügelmann, es wird Zeit, unsere Kommandanten zu rächen. Mr. Chase, we have more Stuckers making a surprise visit. Kindly dispose of them before you think of landing. Let's bring them down, Chase. Well, the Hurricane is a fine bird. I didn't think it could compare to American engineering, but I like the feel of her. Trevor says if I'm ready, he has a little cleanup assignment for me. I get the feeling he thinks I'm still too green. Who knows? Maybe it was the phrase, I think a Yank can handle this one, that tipped me off. Apparently, there are some dangerous crates and barrels that need destroying, but target practice in this lady should be a pleasure. Good show. You've received your first field upgrade requisition. During the course of your campaign, you'll be able to make improvements to the planes in the hangar. These improvements are called field upgrades, and I'm the lucky soul that gets to do them. Before I can do any upgrades, you'll need a field upgrade requisition. Rourke will award you upgrade requisitions when your performance in a mission has been superlative. Each requisition authorizes me, the chief mechanic, to make one field upgrade. You select which field upgrade is done to which aircraft. Over time, I'll be learning new upgrades. I'll alert you when I've come up with something new. The new field upgrade is complete. Your aircraft has been modified with the upgrade you requested. Your aircraft has been modified with the upgrade you requested. some bomb targets at the ammo dump for you to practice on. To effectively hit these targets, you'll want to use the bomb target reticule, which shows where your bombs will impact. This reticule is projected on the ground in front of you and fluctuates in size based on your plane's maneuvering and angle of attack. Your bomb will hit somewhere within the circle of the bomb site. If you point the nose of your plane down toward the target, the bomb reticule will shrink in size. This indicates your bomb drop will be more precise. Realize that a direct hit with a bomb may not be necessary. Bombs do area damage. The bigger the bomb, the more damage it does, and the bigger the area it does damage to. Now, destroy all ammo guns. That's good. One down. The bomb target rescue best by switching to the bombing camera. This is most effective when bombing large targets such as buildings or ships. Either way, when you've got the target lined up using the method you're most comfortable with, release the bomb to send it flying. Another useful camera is the ordnance camera. Continued holding down on the secondary fire button switches the camera to follow your projectile. target a bit better. When trying to get an idea of distance, drawing a bead, trying to identify the type of target, this ability to zoom in is quite useful. Keeping a close 
close eye on the positions of the targets in your range of view is important. Equipped on your craft is a gun camera that allows you to replay footage of what you did in the last 15 seconds. Use it any time during combat. It is particularly helpful for checking the success of recent bombing runs. Another camera available to you is reverse view. This camera allows you to walk behind you very quickly. Since you're a capable fighter pilot, you have available reflex time. You can slow time down, giving a better opportunity to shoot speedy targets. Speed, speed time up. This can be especially useful when you need to travel to a spot or there is a lull in the action. Trevor likes to push buttons, just like my dad. But I get the feeling he does it in a friendly, let's see what you're made of kind of way. You'd almost think he was an American flyer with the amount of grief he gives me. The Germans have been getting increasingly curious about what's going on in the skies above Dunkirk. Trevor ordered me to engage any German planes that I encounter on patrol. He's assigned me to lead a veteran out on this sortie. Something about, if the American is to command others, he must learn restraint. I take it back. Trevor's not good enough to be an American flyer. Far too English. For this training exercise, we'll cover the wingman command structure. In a fight, your wingmen are your most valuable resource. Now keep in mind that you can only give orders to a craft that is assigned to your command. 
I've ordered Lieutenant Dadigan to be your wingman for this exercise. He'll follow your orders, meaning you are responsible for his life as you are in command. Chase, I was sent out on patrol and I'm right on top of these balloons. I'm requesting permission to engage. All right then. Issue the attack my target command to Lieutenant Dadigan. The attack my target command causes your wingmen to attack the target you currently have selected. Once the selected target is destroyed, your wingmen will return to your side for further orders. Copy. Moving to intercept your target. One balloon grounded. The target at will command allows your wingmen to independently attack targets of opportunity. When your wingmen are under such an order, they fly far and wide over the combat zone. Therefore, you may seldom see them. Your wingman is awaiting your target at will order. Roger that. Engaging enemies. May 26, 1940. I'm finally in Europe with the Royal Air Force, right in the thick of things. There's quite a motley collection of pilots from all over, eager to fight the Luftwaffe. One pilot in particular stands out from the rest. He's a Brit named Trevor. I hope to learn a lot from him if I can get past his upper-class smugness. Across the Channel in France, though, things are going very badly. German forces have surrounded the Brits at Dunkirk and threatened to capture the lot of them. To avoid this disaster, the entire British force must be evacuated. Ships from all over England have been assembled to bring the troops home. 
Our squadron is going into action today to keep the Luftwaffe away from the evacuation ships. German ground forces are also on the move, tightening the noose. We'll have our hands full, as time is in short supply. Weiter vorrücken! Wir müssen die Brücke nehmen! 
scouts report large groups of Panzers converging on each of the three bridges into Dunkirk. Take out the bridges before the German forces cross. The ground crews have loaded your planes with 250 pound bombs. They should neutralize tanks if you're accurate. Alright, I'll take the south bridge. Chase, on the east or west bridge. Land at the airfield any time to have my crew rearm your aircraft. Yes, but that will take precious time. A group of Stukas is heading toward the east defensive line.
Zufall, Tommy. Nächstes Mal hast du weniger Glück. Damn if I'm not good at judging more talent. You're showing promise.